welcome back to my channel. Um, am I in my pajamas wrapped in a Snoopy blanket with blue lipstick on because it's Halloween season? Hell yeah. Okay, so it's been a while. I'm really sorry. I was planning on starting this video series sooner, but I had really bad tonsillitis. Trust me, you can't even understand what I was saying. So, um, so today and in the next future videos, I'm really excited about this series. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. I just wanted to go through my favorite or like my top three horror movies per decade, going back to what we're doing today aka pre-1900, there is a good chance, if not a 100% chance, that every single video I mention in this video is French. But it's okay because it was his island movies, you know, so I don't think there's too much of a language barrier. So today I just wanted to talk about the most interesting time period, in my opinion, which is pre-1900. So as mentioned two seconds ago, if I didn't cut it out, maybe I did, who knows. Um, the camera was invented, or the filming camera was developed by the Lumiere brothers in Lyon in France, where I studied, by the way, anyway, um, in 1895. So the very first movies or videos were a series of pictures, which is, you know, the, like, your classic VHS tape thing, or, like, the classic cameras, which would end up being, you know, a series of pictures being rapidly shown one after the other, to the rate of 25 images per second, because that's the rate at which our eye would stop seeing a series of pictures and, a mo you know, and we'd end up seeing, like, a moving video. Right, you get it. So, um, when you look at the really oldest, oldest, oldest ones that end up being like a moving horse or like a running bison, you can really see like different steps of a bison running. Like, that was more like a horse. Yes, I just let sink in what I, I just did. Yeah, okay. Um, so moving on. Anyway, today we're talking about horror. Horror, okay? Horror. Because it's the spooky season, I have my notes on my phone, so. So the first thing I have to mention about the eight, you know, earlier movies is that, A, the first thing is that because the camera was, I'm just going to say camera, I mean filming camera, not picture camera. Because cameras were just invented, they didn't really have movies yet, so most of what you would see back then would be more filmings of plays or shorter little funner pieces. Also, most things you would see back then would be either people or directors just filming daily lives, which can be pretty interesting. Some of the movie or things you'll find would be just people walking in the street or like a bridge l lifting, <laughs> like, you know, and then the chips would go whatever okay um so all that to say is that a lot of what you would find back then would be more lighthearted. like there's very little if not any horror not that our you know horror today is the same as horror back then but back then horror would be more like comedic horror if you will or theatrical horror more than movie scripts type of horror like we have now. So the first video I want to mention, I'm also gonna just throw it out there, everything I'm mentioning today is like five minutes long-ish, even less. So the first one I want to mention is The Beheading of Mary, Queen of Scots from 1895. So Mary, Queen of Scots, the reason I'm, um, or The Beheading of Mary, Queen of Scots, the reason I'm mentioning this one is because it is the first instance where we have like an actual movie effect so basically when you look at it, it well I'll let you watch it but it's like the first literally the first movie effect ever I believe it was Georges Méliès that made this one but I could be wrong um so it's basically you know they would film something and then stop it and then film the rest of the action and then literally cut the tape 
the film tape and then glue it together and then you would have a jump cut. And so you're going to watch Mary Queen of Scots. Obviously, I trust you to do that. So you'll see where that happens. So that one I honestly kind of just mentioned for its historical relevance. The first like actual horror movie I'm going to mention is called The Haunted Castle from 1895 by Georges Méliès, a French director. Like I said, you know, since the camera was invented in France. Most of the earlier directors are French or European because obviously technology didn't travel as fast. So today I think we only have French people. So this one, it follows just a devil in a castle that kind of goofs around. That's kind of like the main theme I found was... Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention because back then, you know, more... More people's lives were centered around religion. A lot of horror, early horror, even, you know, a little bit after the 1900s, was mostly centered around religious themes. So you'd have, like, devils and demons and, like, supernatural instances pertaining to religion, specifically Christianity. Um... You know, as far, far as the earlier stuff. In general, I, you know, there's always a few exceptions. So this one, because of its theme, because it's like a vampire, you know, goofing off in a castle and doing spooky stuff, it is actually the first vampire movie and the first official horror movie. So you have to watch it. It's the first horror movie officially. The Haunted Castle, 1895. It's in French, but it's a silent movie, so it doesn't matter. So the next one I'm gonna mention is a little more fantastical than a horror. It's called The Bewitched Inn, again by Georges Méliès from 1897. This one is, talks about like a, um, a bewitched inn, sort of, and it just follows, you know, guests that are experiencing Supernatural things. Um, again, I I kind of really like this one because it also displays those jump cut special effects. You can really see kind of like a progression even over the course of 10, 20, 30 years, certain special effects. And I'm not gonna lie, some of the really, really earlier ones are more interesting than the ones we have today because, I mean, let's be real, Put your hand up if CGI is boring to you. True story. I don't give a crap about overly CGI movies. I don't even watch them. I don't watch Marvel. I don't watch DC. True story. Okay. New director. This one is called... Okay, this one is from 1897 as well. It's called The X-Ray Fiend by Georges-Louis Smith. Okay, so this one was... I think this one is super funny. Again, it's a jump cut movie, but it's like, it's funny, creepy, and it was inspired by the invention of the x-ray machine, I believe the same year or maybe one or two years prior. And it's just this guy who's filming this couple who's at the park and you see them through like as if they were through an x-ray machine. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of creepy. Like, a little bit, honestly, because their skeleton costumes back then. Again, it was theater, not movie on stage. Or, like, you know, you know what I mean? Just watch it. You'll need to, you'll see what I mean. And on theme with the skeletons, we have... Oh, I read it two seconds ago and already forgot. 1898, one year later, called The Merry Skeletons by Louis Lumière. Louis Lumière, one of the two Lumière... Lumière brothers who invented the camera. This is again just like a skeleton dancing around but this one is like a little bit more eerie than the previous one. I don't know. I love the pre-1900 call or um I love the pre-1900 uh, skeleton costumes. Aren't they so fun? I'm not gonna lie, I think they're kind of fun. Okay, just to wrap it up again for this video, 1899, ooh la la, we're bordering on a new century here, what's gonna happen? Again, by Georges Méliès, this one is called The Devil in a Convent, and this one, I'm not gonna lie, it's like supposed to be horror, and I'm sure it was 
horror back then, but I thought it was just straight up funny. Um, it's called, yeah, Devil in a Convent, and it's literally, it's basically the devil who's bored and, like, goes to terrorize a convent, like, mid prayer and stuff. It's just, like, goofy, honestly. And it makes me laugh, honestly. When I was watching really old movies from even, like, 1910s and 1920s, to see, there were moments where I was literally like, this is the OG version of this horror movie. And I, like, when I was watching The Devil, Devil in a Convent, I was like, is this, like, the OG Conjuring? I, kind of, kind of. It's just, like, it's so fun to see the progression. And when I was making this series, by the way, I did also in chronological order. So I did, like pre-1900s and then 10, 20, 30, all the way up to the 2020s. And it was just really fun to see how horror movies have evolved and how previous horror movies inspired newer ones. I don't know. I had so much, guys, I had so much fun finding movies for this series, I'm not gonna lie. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around for the next one. I, okay, because I was planning on having this series, like, kind of spread out through October. Okay, sorry, I had to interrupt. My fries are here. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I was planning on spreading out these videos through October, but because I had, sorry, because I had that nasty tonsillitis and I had to wait it out, um, I'm just gonna like dump a bunch of videos before the end of October. I know it's not very professional, but honestly, when have I ever been? I just wanted to say that from now on, every video is going to be three of my favorite horror movies. And I'm going to do three decades per video. So I hope you really enjoy them. Um, it was kind of hard to narrow it down for three horror movies for post, like, 70s. Um, but hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Alright guys, leave a like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel to see the rest of the series as they come out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!